What's up everyone, James here, and in today's video, um, what we're gonna be doing is doing something that I've never done before, which is ordering coral online for my nano reef tank here. And uh, yeah, seeing, seeing what we get, and uh, yeah, get it into the aquarium, and, and hopefully add uh, something new to, to the tank as well. As I said, this is a online delivery. Um, I ordered from a seller from eBay, and uh, thankfully it was uh, next day delivery, and it did turn up next day. Um, so the package is here, um, let's unbox it and uh, see what's inside. All right guys, here's the package. Um, it's just in a styrofoam container at the moment. Looks like there's been a little piercing hole here, so I hope that hasn't caused too much problems with uh, temperature. <clears throat> I'll see if I can gently get this open. not the uh, greatest in terms of like how to actually get in this packaging as you can see here so I'm not exactly sure how you do get into it <clears throat> okay so it looks like it's been packed with uh, some newspaper, a bit of cardboard, and some other bits and pieces. Heat pad in here. Cold. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, fill this. The bag is absolutely freezing cold, the water is freezing. Um, and there's the coral. So I think what I'm gonna do is get it in the aquarium now and uh, hopefully let it acclimate for a few hours and then uh, we will dip it and then um, hopefully it'll be ready to go in the aquarium. So the coral has been in now for seven and a half hours and uh, I've just taken it out and placed it in my jug here. Um, and what we're gonna do is just dip it using a Seachem reef dip um, just to get rid of any pests that might be on the coral. Okay, as you can see, um, we're currently dipping the coral here, so we're gonna leave it about 15 to 15 to 20, maybe 30 minutes, um, just to hopefully get rid of anything that might be on it, any contaminants or pests or anything, and then we'll uh, get it into the aquarium. Just while the uh, coral is dipping as well, if you want a bit more of an in-depth uh, detail as to how to dip corals effectively um, using a, uh, a solution like this, um, then I will leave a link in the top corner and in the description of this video so you can check it out more. All right guys, it's, uh, it's been, well, it's been about an hour actually now since um, I first dipped this uh, green star. That's what it is, a green star polyp. Um, I don't know if you can see very well in there. Um, the reflection on the aquarium is a uh, in front of me is a bit um, too bright, but yeah, it's a uh, Green Star Polyp or GSP, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I think it's done dipping now. Um, from what I can see, everything looks pretty good on it. It's not really focusing that well. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get it in the aquarium and uh, yeah, see what it's like. Ok, 
Okay, yeah, so all in now. Um, don't know if you can see it very clearly, but uh, all the polyps are in at the moment, um, just because I put it in the aquarium, but uh, hoping that it will um, expand and uh, once it's happy with where it is. Um, I'm gonna keep it down in this corner for now because um, from what I can work out, it's probably the best place to have it where Probably there's, there's quite a bit of uh, flow from the filter here down to the bottom and GSPs like flow. And also I've got a power head over there sort of pushing pushing water over. And also um, I need to keep it isolated from any rock work or anything like that um, because if it gets on rock work, that's when this stuff can really start going crazy. So yeah, just a uh, couple of top tips really is uh, number one, GSP is commonly found in um, the Pacific uh, Ocean. So places like Fiji and Australia, um, I believe that's where they come from. And uh, they, as I said, they like high high flow or mediate to high flow, I think is uh, is what is sort of stated. Um, again, lighting levels, they, they quite like um, high to medium light as well. Hopefully it'll be okay in this small nano tank here. Um, because um, obviously it's not that deep, so uh, hopefully it'll be okay there. Unless my, my cleaner shrimp is uh, currently having a go on it. Um, and yeah, the most important thing is um, obviously this stuff is a you know is, is renowned for being a fast grower. So um, just making sure that uh, you control it. It's uh, supposed to be not as bad as uh, Paulson Xenia in terms of its uh, ridiculous uh, growth rate. But, um, and this apparently is a bit more easier to control. So it'll be interesting to see how I get on with this. Um, but I'm hoping that once it starts taking off a little bit, then I can, you know, frag some of it and maybe sell it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it away from the rock work as, as best I can. Um, and uh, keep it isolated on its own sort of little area. And then um, it won't hopefully spread right the way across my aquarium and take over the, the tank so that's the plan so we give it a couple of hours and what i'll do is i'll get some like b-roll and stuff to see you know hopefully that the polyps will be out by then and uh, yeah you can see what it's all about and hopefully it's a uh, a good color to it as well so in terms of feeding um they don't necessarily need to be uh, fed anything from what i've read on the internet you can you can add coral feeds to it, I think they'll happily take them. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as I'm aware, um, they photosynthesize um, like other corals and uh, you know, they'll feed on things that are currently in the water column as well. I think in terms of uh, delivery and stuff, um, although the product was, uh, you know, well packaged, um, still the the, um, the heat pad was freezing cold on it so maybe they should put more stuff in um, i know most people would argue that it's not a fish or anything but coral is still alive and it is still a living creature um, so we should be taking care of them just as well as we should with any other fish or shrimp all right guys it's uh, it's been almost 24 hours now since adding the coral into the aquarium now i don't know if there's a problem with it or anything but uh so far, I'm not actually seeing any of the polyps coming out. Um, looks just a bit like it's not happy. So I moved it from down in the corner to up a little bit higher and hopefully a bit more flow there. But uh, yeah, can't see nothing yet. Um, if you guys have got any tips or tricks or any advice, uh, please let me know in the, uh, in the comments. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've got any top tips on, uh, you know, taking care of uh, GSPs or, you know, anything that you think I should be doing in this small nano tank, then please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm all ears uh, for feedback and uh, information. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I put out weekly videos on all my fish keeping antics. Um, so hopefully there's something for everybody. And until next time, you stay safe.